what a fucking day! Oh my god. First off, the day began with an announcement from the Harris campaign that currently the uh, announcement of the vice president has raised $32 million in a day. They went on to have a packed rally. And when I say packed rally, I mean people who had waited in line for a mile and a half were turned away because they closed the road. They were at capacity. Meanwhile, J.D. Vance was cosplaying with Kamala Harris's plane, pretending that this is a reboot of Entourage when in reality, this is just coming to a grinder profile near you. I just didn't realize he took everybody from his rally with him to the airport. By any chance, was this four seasons total landscaping? Oh, was that the wrong place? My bad. Additionally, Donald Trump whined on Fox and Friends this morning about the fact that he's bigly getting beat. But maybe it's time that Donald Trump comes out from the basement, I mean Mar-a-Lago, and onto the campaign trail. Why is it that his campaign continues to keep him from the public? Is it the fact that every time he goes out to a speaking event, he somehow makes it worse for himself? No? Yeah? Maybe? And then, to add just another silver lining to the beauty that we call Tim Walls, um, this gentleman had just gotten on stage, just started speaking, giving his, his very first rally stump speech, right? And, and somebody in the crowd needed assistance. So bro makes a joke about how he can outshoot any of Trump and company at the range, And then he stops everything that he's doing to make sure that somebody who got too much heat was tended to immediately. And the rally ceased for like a solid like three to five minutes until like that was taken care of. He's officially America's new dad. On top of that, we also learned a great piece of information about Tim and Gwen Walls. Tim Walls is not bought and paid for by special interest groups. He doesn't own any stocks or bonds. He doesn't have any mutual funds or private equities or securities like everybody else in politics does. In fact, he doesn't have any book deals or speaking fees or any cryptocurrency. They don't own any real estate. Before moving into the governor's mansion, they sold their modestly priced home below the asking price. Their only assets are their state pensions and their teaching pensions. This also while simultaneously being attacked by the GOP for only serving in the National Guard while slinging stolen valor when your candidate was a fucking draft dodger. Just saying.